Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Sun Quan Tribute Model Let's Play. We continue for episode 15 from turn 53 in the spring season of 218. So the exciting part of us uh, in this episode is we have to fight one of our former vassals in Zhou Yu. Uh, the story goes something like this. We have been, you know, hard at war, expanding, fighting in the south, buying up land, and we were fighting Cao Cao early on, then went south to fight the Shu clan, and now we're finally emperor, and we promoted the high emperor back to his throne. We have become heir, we married our sister to him, we're now part of the imperial family, uh, we restored some of the Yuan clan members back to their former glory as Grand Excellency, and our longtime vassal and trusted ally Zhou Yu got nothing, and he's not happy about this. He's not happy about the fact that, you know, we ruined his, uh, our brother's legacy, his best friend's legacy of not taking the throne for the kingdom of Wu, as we're now just called the High Empire. And he's going to do something about it. And we're going to put him down. So we need to put out an army over here um, to fight the southern half of his armies. And the northern half will take care of with Sun Quan himself. Um, we actually want to get some of the corruption reduction buildings from this, but I think there might be even a better choice with the county buildings. Actually, we'll get this first. This is probably more important just to get that corruption reduction going as we have more land. Um, we'll eventually work our way up, you know, both of these branches to meet here, and then we'll probably pick up uh, the level 5 mines, we'll probably get the level 5 in building in the future as well. The land development's kind of stuck, um, kind of don't have a lot of time to get this. Uh, actually, this is not bad as well. We'll get the selling the food one, but this gives us additional options for the tea, which we do have, I think we have two tea counties? It's not a lot. This we can build everywhere, so that's got to be the winner here. Uh, we didn't get more spies. I think we're, we're fine with how many we have. Redeployment discount. Mustering turn decrease is really good for new armies, but we're... We, see, this is not relevant for our faction because we got mercenary units, so it's almost not really useful for us. Is she a bandit? Because if she is, she's not. Oh, even if she's not, this reset's good because she's an administrator with the wrong side of the skill tree. All right, so she's gonna do that. Um, um, I think this is Joey's general, so I think he will be the one we'll target. The Mulu th threat with the Namans not a real threat. Make Tsao look bad. Sounds good. I actually think commerce is probably our main income source now. Probably more so than peasantry. And we probably don't need population growth. Die light. See, he would never join us, so this doesn't really help us. Can't really spy with a Naman faction. We want his weapon, obviously. So he's in Mu Lu's faction. If we can fight him on the battlefield and take his weapon execute him for it or something like that that'll be great uh, he can we can recruit him through battle he just never will show up in our recruitment pool that's the thing um i would like to improve relations and take another general we can definitely do that assuming that general i mean there's really no bad support at this point yeah general is probably the most useful useless support type but we got a vanguard it seems no no oh that's a that's a sentinel what am i talking about that's actually okay i guess and apparently he's probably a family member. It's all good. This course of the state is a great item. So we are going to reset her tree and... Oh, that's really annoying. But still, this is better. We at least get the public water right now. And we're closer to this than if we were up here. This is still good for us. Administrator for more food. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so army setup. This is an immediate threat, but it's bordering our vassal, so it's not that bad. We're not at war with Tal apparently. A bit shocked, but we're not. 
And we're going to move this army on the road. Come attack Kofei from the north. We're going to activate our cell. We have not been used all game. Uh, Imperial units are available. What we're going to do is use this. Oh, wait, why did this shift? It's just cheap. And your full health will adjust from there. Same thing with her. He needs the item. Oh, should we actually go for Imperial Cavalry? He's also a Burn Officer, so there's actually a decent amount of ammo. We can go with Imperial Palace Cav instead of our Mercenary one. So we're going to do this for all of them. This is just so that we have an army that's kind of full health. And when we swap, they recover quite fast. Even for Imperial units with the penalties. Ooh, this is a tough choice because we could go Imperial Infantry unit. We could go on extract. Does she have flaming? Oh yeah, she does have fire arrows, but not flaming shot. That's surprising. But we still are going to need trebuchets. I actually think I want juggernauts as well. They're just fun to play with. We haven't really used them yet. And we'll go with some fire arrows to work it up. Um, we're probably going to do tiger guards instead of spear guards for the unit that will protect the juggernaut with turtle formation. And then we're going to go with a couple protector of heavens for just the flank and just infantry if we need it. Um, this army is good to go. We're going to sail down. I'm not worried about them challenging us in the water. I assume we delegate extremely well with how premium our units are. And we're going to go face off with Zhou Yu ourselves. I'm going to bring some help just to make um, this faster. I think we probably want to put the new force either here or here, depending on how far they can walk, right? So they can't actually threaten this. So I feel like this is probably where we want to put our guy in case, you know, these two armies can get into the water and threaten this. So we'll start here. It can be anyone, really. I guess we'll start with a strategist. We brought the other wife, so to be fair, we'll let the other wife come out as well. She's supposedly our favorite. Um, it's kind of weird that we'll bring him with her. Ah, we'll bring the Chen clan because they're going to be in-laws with technically her historical daughter, which did not spawn for us yet. I mean, it's too early. Right? Uh, Sun Quan has all his kids way too late, historically speaking. Um, we have a vanguard, so I would like a bandit. None of them are bandits. What about the ones down here? These are bandits. She's a bandit. There we go. That's who we'll bring. We're going to do something very similar, but I don't think we're going to give them as many fancy uh, units as we did in the other armies. So now we're technically in the late game, or I guess we are in the late game with Imperial units. And we have a lot of choices when it comes to what we want. We could go with... Just Protector of Heaven might be the best choice here, actually. Pound for pound as a frontline unit. I don't think you can go wrong here. This is the tough choice. I, I guess we probably didn't need to recruit these. I'm going to get a couple of handmade guards. And then we're probably going to... Yeah, this is where we kind of wasted money, but it's all right. Yeah, we don't have that spear anymore, but I don't think it's better than what I gave him.
And no Juggernaut in this army because we can't actually protect them. Alright, so they will... He, he will lead. And they will respond to the threat here in the south. Maybe he should lead, right? Uh, let's take out our extra movement. Swap. That way we get a little bit extra replenishment. He can pick up the spear. We don't own the armor. If I ever find it, I'll give it to him. Here, take Lupul's bow as well. Sun Chuan's decked out. Our wife, not so. Yeah, why don't we take that? Take uh, Strategist's horse as well. Alright, that's good enough. So, we sent the armies we want to take care of Zhou Yu. We also own this. We could potentially send out an army over here, but I think that's too many. I think we have plenty to take care of Zhou Yu. He's not a real big threat. Uh, Mu Lu's faction still a thing. We're probably not going to reach that this turn. We'll reach it next turn. And then we want to get another T over here. We set this out last turn. We have one more deployment available. No suitable strategist seems to be the thing holding us back. From all the ones we can recruit, is he reliable? Is he a spy? He's not. So I guess we could just grab him. Just to fill a need. Sure. And we, we don't have more deployment available, so we're gonna let this army also just sit here for a little bit. Let's see what he's good at. He's level one. Okay. At least you have fire arrows. Um, Onyx dragons will work well on him against Naman forces. That would be pretty good. We have this army uh, who we wanted to turn. We were prepared to potentially fight to obey. But now I think... I think we only need to fight Mulu and potentially Naman rebels. So we march. There is there's this forest path, I think, here. I thought there was a path that can actually go through. It's just incredibly difficult. I think it is here. I'm not getting a path. Hmm. I mean, if it's not there... Oh, it's not there. It's actually here. It's from... It's from here. Yeah, it's, it's from this side. Because there's the regular route from here. There's also the route from... I mean, I'm going to move them down. Just to help them. Alright, we still have this force right here. I don't really think we want to trespass to catch them. We'll send one back over here to stop them from this side, and I will probably just... Yeah, there's also this force. We'll ambush here, see if we can catch them off guard, and then we'll just cover this side. It's a little hard to stop them, but that's probably all we need to do there. Alright, the fun stuff. Spies. I think we're actually saving points to do another round of really heavy discredit faction when we get a chance. Tall Tall's faction is really hard to do anything because of the defense he has against spying. So I actually think we want to extract Zhuge Dan. I don't know if he has any defense for undercover. If he does, then extracting him like this might fail. Plus 10. At least we know. We'll just cancel it and we'll just have to wait for this to build back up. We'll convert some of this over and uh, work it out that way. Yeah, I had to check. It was a, it's a bad gamble, but it's fine. Alright, one of our officers here who doesn't have an item on his fifth slot, I think maybe Zhang Fu doesn't.
Yep, he actually doesn't have any items. Take a discourse of the state. I don't think we have the set. We don't. And that that's it. That's all you need to take. Get us some more corruption reduction. And we can look at the buildings. Now food is no longer a concern. I'm even tempted to bring this all the way up. It doesn't bring us anything that great, but there's like a small income bonus, I guess. And it's just nice to have Imperial City in your capital for vanity's sake. I don't think we need any more satisfaction boosts. If anything, we want a bit of commerce boost here, but he doesn't get along, so we'll spare him. Now, nah, hi, we're going for at least regional city. Same thing here, but if we have these upgrades, we can take these. Small regional. Ah, this is actually what's still kind of dropping our, what do you call it, our um, family support. But still a very nice income source, so we'll take it. Now let's get it to a city first. And then it's like tax building and, well this is actually a pretty good commandery. I can see it going all the way up despite not having a harbor. You know what, let's do this. We'll get the construction time discount in there and we'll build something that's like one turn. That way we can do that in one turn next turn and then everything will just be faster. Don't want that. It could go taller. But I think it's time to put that in. And then the state workshop in it. And we actually might build a private workshop here as well. It's only minus two now. That's a hundred. I want this to be positive. As these settlements go taller, that's going to be easier. Like We really need to counteract some of the authority loss that we have. to be our coalition member. Alright, I think the goal with Zhou Yu is we beat him down and then we confederate him using the army, the, the, the attitude we'll gain from the battles. That way we get to pick him up. That's the goal. We kind of want to do that early on, we just couldn't do it. Or we didn't want to take the risk. Now we sort of can. You're vassalizing Mu Lu as well? You obey seriously? It's okay. I mean, like, this terrain sucks. I, I don't really want to go all the way in. But you obey is just being a good guy everywhere is kind of annoying. Also making moves. Oh, Tsao and Liu are fighting. That's right. We take care of our internal problems first, and then we'll we'll look out. They bypassed us, looters. They probably were summoned, actually. It's okay. I'll let them take it. We have an army nearby. Oh, we lose authority from losing battles. Okay, never mind. Next time we actually fight this. That was... Because we're in the summer. That was one of the faction council moves that someone did with us. Against us, whatever. Don't know who did it. He wants to go back to his faction because he's high satisfaction. Um, that's not cool. 
we have a few turns before he floats back. They should actually tell us how many turns. I remember you can see it. There should be an icon for it. Maybe not? Oh, here, here, here. Five turns. That's more than enough time. We'll do this. It's plus 29 now? Wow. Never mind, we're just getting played. I still think we have enough time to do it. To get the recall off. We need one, two, three. We probably could put it off at the last moment. A lot of returning faces. Well, you just look at, I mean, Yuan Si is also there, but not really interested. Zamba. Not willing to spy, though. So it's kind of hard to trust this. We could just snatch his gold item, I guess. Maybe he has a grudge? Wait, he's not even on this list, is he? I can't right-click to check him. How did he... Oh, he's right here, he's right here. There's just too many. Nope. Not the grudge for the right faction. So... Unfortunately, no. Right, so small changes to the war path. We're now surprisingly trespassing. We'll go back to defense on Kuo. I guess in this case I stay maybe here, because this is an easy path down to fight Liu Zhang later on. And I will stay here as well when I'm needed in the future. We lost this to looters. Unbelievable. Seems like we probably need armies here constantly because looters will spawn. Looter took that before looter will take this again. They will not trigger the ambush because they're no longer our enemies. But this group of looter is. They are not really in a piece of place that like I don't need to go get them. I guess we just do this. We, we can't ambush anymore because they're right on top of us. I'll go guard the port. Let them take care of that. Alright, they have advanced. We show up for defense. Okay, so we know where that army is. We're going to attack Hefei first. Give Sun Quan a chance to win this battle. And then we'll come down to Zhou Yu afterwards. Yeah, still no fighting this turn. We're just depleting authority very fast. Which is a bit sad, but hopefully the fighting will ramp up and we wouldn't have that problem. Ah, we still have this army in the north. Um, we don't have enemies here. We're still at war with them. We meant to buy this. I don't know if he's still willing to sell it to us. Yeah, it's much more expensive now. I feel like we should sit here. This is a nice base for the future attack on Tall Tall. I don't need to risk this to go pick up these two kind of pointless places. If he's willing, he's probably going to be willing to peace out in the future anyways. I think we, he needs to lose a couple armies, but not going to give up the position in Bohai. 
I, I, I think we just forego the trade influence. It's not a guarantee that we can maintain this many trade down the line. Imperial City time? Let's do it. Okay, so all the armies moved. I, I think the spy situation, we could target Obe a little bit. Even though we don't have an open slot to take in anyone, so there's an argument to be made that we could just save up some points for now. Let's do that, so that we have enough for him to hit that. He's going to have enough to hit that. He's a terrible spy. I don't know why we have him. Dragon can join in. Wayne can join in. So next turn we can do like a big massive hit on the Obey across the board. Like another minus 40 point on everyone. I think that's pretty much it. Let's see what Joey does. He's probably gonna run, knowing how the AI have been behaving so far. Okay. Do I have any land near him? The Western factions, Northern factions, that's fine. It's all, it's all subjects, basically. I see they abandoned Hefei. Free target for you, Sun Quan, this time. Yeah, if we just look at diplomacy, I guess they do touch. I might need an army here. Four turns, right? Okay. We're gonna do this first. I think we'll drive some of even our own spies back to us. And that's okay. We'll start from the bo bottom up. That way we don't repeat anyone. That's one. That's two. That's three. What? Oh, we don't have enough points. Uh, we can fix that. You can do this. And we can do this again. That's four. So there's been some refresh of the other ones that timed out, but basically negative 70 applied again. And we'll see if that helps us. Where did the looters go? Ah, they ran again. That seems to be the trend. They built something. It's okay, I'll trespass. I want the authority points. Alright, so we're fine there. Oh, 
I mean, this is still only level three. All right, it's game over. Sun Quan completed his life mission. Took Cliff A personally. Uh, we don't need that. Why can't I convert it? Oh, settlement level too low. Yeah, we won't mess with this. Doesn't make enough money to make sense. A little bit forward. I mean, they could try to take this now. But we also have him. We'll actually have to fight this knight battle it. So let's go. And then we'll go take the rest of Puyang. They have some interesting units. They have the same special unit as us, as one of our vassals. They've been given mercenary cav here, a couple tiger guards, a couple mercenaries. See, but the weakness of mercenary units, as we've been stating the whole campaign, is low morale, so. We could probably decimate most of them without actually fighting. He does have gold weapon, so we could fight a duels if we want. But essentially, this whole place is going to be a blaze. They might charge out. If they do, we'll move up afterwards. They're not charging. Alright, we got two duels we can fight, but let's first light up the front. They probably have the oil puddle right here. Usually that's where the AI put it. Is that a circle formation? Alright, so those are lit up. We can go fight our duels first. They burn down, so I can put these here. Oh, Xu Sheng. I hope Xu Sheng has a uh, resiliency. Yeah, level five. He's fine. The towers are going to burn down soon. We'll tank up a little bit of damage before then. I don't think he needs help, but we do have the abilities to help, so let's help him. That's what we offer. It's okay, we can tank arrows pretty effectively with those. Offer that, and then we're back. They're here to offer the passive guard bonus. Like I said, we can tank arrows pretty easily. All right, far will. I'm gonna turn off the archer's fire will because they're probably gonna shoot him after the duel if we spare him. All right, too many arrows. We'll, we'll back off. We don't have that high of a default range block chance, so even with the cavalry bonus, uh, it still hurts a little bit. But we win. We're not done. There's another duel. Hit the middle here. Against a commander, I'm not going to send him any help. Level 1 commander with, you know, default weapon. We could burn the whole thing down for another 10 point of morale. Actually, let's do that. 
after this shot is fired. He's done. I just had to hit that, and then have the other one hit that, and this will light up automatically. It'd be 100% destruction. Alright, easy win. We're getting charged by cavalry. We can probably flame our way out. Okay, they hit it. They both hit their targets. Good. Oh, the wall is on this side. Yeah, I got charged. It's actually pretty bad. Well, he could have slammed a little bit earlier and then we would have been fine, but I was micring the trebuchets. He's still gonna be fine. Alright, step up a little bit more. I'm actually surprised how well their morale is holding up. Okay, he's down. Go for the next range target. You shoot- oh, he's shooting at us? There's a bow? A slam of that. Alright, all their range are exhausted. Time to bring our cav. No, no, just fight this, fight this. Slam. That's the only target we should be hitting. I guess if they do come back, they probably will. Oh, we got brought down again. Vanguard and their low morale. Charge that. Charge that. We'll just avoid the spears, and we should be fine. Bring that down, bring that down. Alright, charge the handmade guard. This should be it, right? I'll fight this. Although I think army loss kicked in. Oh, we're so fast. We're so fast. We got the final rush active. We're so fast on foot. Look how fast we are. We're just kind of confused about which unit to charge, but... Alrighty, that wasn't so hard. Let's see if we can capture Xu Sheng and have him join the right side. We got his armor. Alright, we want Roar. Alright, we technically use that capture chance. They still have another layer. Could delegate them away. Thirty-one percent. 
，真密谋划，方可取胜。Nope。放了吧，无法为。谁在叫我 ？All right, their job is not to go back and defend, but to keep attacking. Our job is to pick up Poyang for ourselves. Over here, if they take it. I, mean, I don't want them to take it, but. Alright, who is willing to work with you? Wait, we have Liu Xun? We actually have um, Liu Zhang's son. And he was a traitor. We can use his for. I, I, I guess we'll use him. Um, something simple. Cause this, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this army on the field. This is more like I don't want to lose this to something silly like that. So I feel like this is all we need. Plus the local garrison, I feel like they can't touch us. Guan Yingping. Still want that, but we probably want to go the top line now. I do want this to upgrade. And then over here we're missing the state workshop. And then over here we want the spice. Gotta note that Zhang Lu is not sending anyone yet. So there's no army here, so I don't think there's an army on the road. We could respond pretty fast, so I, I don't think it's a threat. Right now, it's just a lack of generals, but we should be able to get a haul from Liu Bei very soon. So we're gonna count on that. Yeah, no change really. I guess one way to fix our authority issue is to create more vassals, which we can now since we don't need this much prestige. A large reason why we're depleting so fast is because of the settlement number that we have. Oh, this is interesting. We have an army here. We lose a trade partner though. All right, we are getting some spies returning way in as well. So three, three spies. But we should be able to pick up replacements. Yep. Doesn't matter who, you know, we're just trying to apply more pressure on his faction. So I can finally do this. And then in two turns, I can pull him. Because 39 is not enough, we need 49, and that that'll be enough time to pull Zhuge down before he leaves. All right, we targeted the ones on the oh, so many people in his faction left. It's only minus 50 now because a couple of them that left had the app, uh, the discredited faction applied to them. It's now plus six. Interesting. Yeah, but nobody lost so many. Now, can I target someone like Huang Zhong or Zhuge Liang? I can. Huang Zhong can be brought down to two points. Let's do that. 
We can get Lady Saho to leave. She's the heir. Let's do that. Let's do that. She's a zero. If she's willing to turn coat, this is... Yeah, she's not. She's just not willing to turn coat. That's okay. She should leave. And the minute the heir leaves, all the bone... The sun left. The sun ditched. There, there is a grudge, right? Your dad's not sending you on some secret spy mission. Ooh, this is hard to... Uh, like, I'm pretty sure he's not a spy. But I'm also not sure. And these are all Liu Bei characters that we got out of Liu Bao. Nice. And he's a family member. Guan Suo, continue the Guan Yu family, everyone here on my side. Any other ones with good items? I mean, there's a bunch of, I mean, Liu Shan, mm, this is super tempting. It's weird that he left, you know. These two are clones, they're the same, they're the same person, same background. Just the messed up clone situation. They all have like, you know, silver weapons, which is kind of tempting. Oh, we wanted to move him down. We forgot this. And I wanted to throw... Lu Su in there. For all these bonuses. Including more spy position, I think? Yeah, get one extra one here. Which means we can explore maybe getting just a peek into who Zhou Yu has. So we can consider what to do with him. Like we will get him and his wife from Confederation. I'm trying to pull... Oh, Xuxian's still there. I mean, trying to see what, what is plus 9. Okay, plus 9. Plus 9... Manchong is also working for him. Cao Cao's general, historically. Kind of weird to see him here. He technically takes part in, like, defending Hefei later on. He's always in the Yang province, so he's in the right area, just working for the wrong side. He's not willing to turn. Okay, I mean, it's fine. Alright, we fixed the court. We got the spies. We have a new trade agreement available. Yeah, there's definitely vassals who's willing to trade with us. I'm actually willing to make you happier. We don't want all our vassals to try to overthrow us. Hmm. This is weird. But... I think I'm going to allow it. It is beneficial to us. It's 2007. I mean, we can pay a ton. It's fine. This is like basically saying if we can trade for more than eight turns, I'll be making money. If we can't, then I'll be losing money. I also don't think I'll be attacking him first. I think if we go to war with the kingdom of our choosing, it'll be Cao Cao first for sure. So this is fine. We're also trading with Cao Cao, by the way. <laughs> That's from before. Like, we could also get to the point where we just force some applications. It's, it's entirely possible. This is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think we'll, we'll stick to our guns and just not grab him. Okay, that will be next turn. Oh my god, she crossed the river. Now I don't know if I can actually catch them. Alright, Liu Du's attack on us is actually slightly concerning. We have an army in... No, we don't have an army in Tangwu proper. I lied. 
The linkage is right here. That's the only, and also here, but that's through his territory. There's also a road here, but that's pretty far. Like the easiest way for us to counterattack him is through this. That means we have to summon an army. Well, we have new officers to play with. Like Wei Yan. We need to find strategists. Yeah, we're very short on strategists. Very, very short. Even in the recruitment pool. Okay, how are we going to do this? Um, we could do it without strategists, but for the sieges, it would be... I guess we could get someone who doesn't like them. That's the other option. Or we can even sub Wei Yan out of this army. There's no reason why Wei Yan has to be in here, and then we actually get movement this turn, which is also not bad. So first, let's let's free up Wei Yan. He can join some other army. You know, it's it's fine. Right, this way she gets movement, and we can start here instead of there. Uh, we can focus on our own generals, I guess. Meng Da as the vanguard option. It's kind of low level. Then, is there a suitable champion? That's not currently in our faction. I guess we'll take Chen Xiu, he's high enough level. We can do the recruitment. Actually, we need to do it this turn. No, next turn is fine too, because we'll be at the edge. Unless they come out and attack us. That would be a tragedy, but uh, I, I don't think that will happen. I'm going to just have the higher level lead. I assume we don't need much to beat uh, Liu Du. I hope we don't need much to beat him. That would be embarrassing if we don't win. Zanko could really use more building slot. I mean, the population is just not going up fast enough. We have leveled up Spice and that State Workshop. Okay, so is our family positive? We're at four points now. We're gonna try to shift it higher and higher. So we're headed here. Zhou Tang is on the way. He's defending it. I don't know, maybe he'll run again? Uh, AI calculation has been a little bit weird. They're, they seem like they wanna make that crossing. I'm gonna take this. I mean, even if they make that crossing together, I think with the garrison, we can defend that without any issues. Fight me. Come back and fight me. I'm outside of reinforcement range. I'm a better target. That's where we get Zhou Yu versus Sun Quan. Handan can go down, take this, and then sail down to take Chubi. They will take this fight and then take this, and then they're gonna walk down from the north to fight Liu Du from behind. That's the plan. Didn't get the catch here. 
Yeah, we need, I mean, we need the generals here just in case, you know, one of them flip on us. It's possible. Like, we have a bunch of army on Taltal's border as well that's currently just not doing much. It's not hurting our economy. Um, you can see 420 points for the capitals owned. If we make some vassals, it would solve that problem. Like, if we look at a commandery such as Eagle, which is not very lucrative for us, we are plus three, so technically we're negative two points on everything, and that means negative two on uh, family, which we're actually trying to increase right now. Uh, we'll lose six points of gentry support, which counteracts to plus four points of gentry support. That's going to be gone once we do get rid of it. We'll lose 11 food production here as well. So those are the things we lose if we get rid of it. But we'll also get back a bit of points. Maybe we'll be patient. If we fight enough, it should be fine. Like having this as a vassal. We have max trade, so I can't get another trade route. Oh, 0 0.4 though. We got to wipe out his armies, right? Oh, we need to beat him down to be out. very, very low. And then get a confederation in there. It's going to be hard because his opinion is going to be pretty negative. Maybe. Yeah, that's not going to work. Like, I can't beat him into a best friend mode against us. There's also a personal rivalry. What the heck is going on there? That's usually against faction leaders. Like, he has a rivalry with the Emperor? That doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess we, we're going to have to vassalize him and then annex him in this case. Which is going to make the whole world hate us. But that might be the way we end this. I can make him come around to this, because this is going to lower down. And then the positive factors are going to go up. Emperor status actually increases by 20 points. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, yeah. Guess that's the goal. It might not work, actually. Now I'm looking at things. We'll adjust on the fly. Obviously, we want to get him to join us, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. All right, I think we're good. I think everything is covered. Let's see who Joey picks. He might actually want to fight us. Come on, you have two armies. I'm alone. Yobe and Taltal going at it. I actually don't know who will win. I, I think Taltal's favored. Yobe has his army spread out way too far. Like he has armies down here. No, they didn't come. They went farther. They ran past that river, which this looks like that's how they spent their turn. No, they didn't. They encamped. Okay, they're waiting for the fight. Uh. Uh. This is not us. It's it's the High Empire, but not not us, the High Empire, but that High Empire. As in this High Empire. <laughs> right, so we're not at war. We're just at war with these two minor factions. Yeah, he left. So we can take this for free, then fight him afterward. Yeah, this behavior is weird. I think the mods are doing it. I don't think I noticed this before in the main game as much. We're not going to bring help. We'll give Joey a proper send off. Our spies there too. We can flip her before the battle. Yep. Yeah, but next time we're going to send the army down, clean these up. We'll take all of Joey's land and... Then if we can confederate him, we will. If we can vassalize him, we will. If we can't, then we'll probably try to peace out with him before he gets killed off the field. We'll leave an army of his somewhere so that he can get killed by someone else. And maybe he will think about joining me. I'm hoping to get a capture here. Maybe I'll borrow like Panjong's item to make sure we get a capture. Maybe get some um, fondness from release. Oh, they're, all, they're actually not here. Can't actually click them. Um, Spy will continue. I think we're going to try to continue to mess with Nobe's faction. 
Oh, there we go. Got some more potential targets to use. Nobe's been messed up really hard. I guess this is why he might lose a lot of his wars because he, he's running out of generals. Like he still have a ton on the field, obviously, but like he used to have so many more down here and they're getting taken out. We, we took a couple from here as well. So we'll continue to work on them. Drugo down needs like four more, maybe five more discredit faction. And we need to get more spies to get that to work. Like the goal is to chase all the useful generals away. Like all of them. Wait, Lady Sao is gone. No, she's still here. Ah, so close. We'll try. I mean, how is she demoted? Oh, she probably got a title and got removed. I mean, like she's still heir, isn't she? That's probably the only thing I can think of. Anyhow, uh, things are going decently well. It's weird that we're Three Kingdoms without Three Kingdom War. That's also something the mods have messed up. Ah, Jungle is going to be coming. So we need to set up a defense over here. Maybe this is where Wei Yan can have his fight. Fight his way to Chang'an, you know, where he wants to go anyways, historically. We'll fight the Hanzhong region with him. Xia Yuan and them, and just send their army off. We, we still need a strategist. Maybe there is some... I don't think we got any new ones. Yeah, we actually didn't get anyone new. Maybe he'll just work with someone he doesn't like. And we'll go from there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And see you all next time. Bye!